Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So ladies and gentlemen, we move into FIFA 22 and an Inform Stewart review, basically. Inform Stewart I bought for 11,250. I'm not going to, you know, hide the fact that I bought him because it was kind of impossible to get him in packs. But yeah, we move into the review, ladies and gentlemen, and he is six foot four. He is a boy. He's one of the boys, one of the boys. Sunderland player right there, Ross Stewart. Like I say, six foot four, two star seals, three star weak foot. So he is going to be a little bit decent up front. He is 24 or 25 years of age. Moving into his stats, and actually, he's not that bad. He's actually really, really, you know, a really good card. Um, I am using Marksman on him, and he does have full chem. Um, and on your screen right now is his upgraded card or the card that will be reflective of the stats he will have in game so ladies and gentlemen we are about to move into three games i'm going to rate him on his ability to command on the ball his basically his attacking prowess how many goals he gets how many assists he can get uh if he is he in the right place at the right time is he still getting up with the attack that sort of thing um and this is the squad that i'm going to be running with him or running along with him the only reason that uh ryan frazier Stuart armstrong and scott mctominay are in the team is because like basically chem um we will be swapping out mctominay for gundawan so it actually physically in game this is the squad that is going to be running with him so again the only reason why the three Scot Scotland players are in the team is, is so we can get Stuart on full chem and then we'll make those three substitutions pretty much when the game starts. If you go on to enjoy the video, ladies and gentlemen, drop a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you are new to the channel, hit that big red button underneath the video, it massively helps me out. So without further ado, let's get into this. All right, game number one, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just jump straight into it. Ross Stewart so far looks okay. You know, with his 81 pace, he, you know, he's getting into the right positions, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, but he's not making the run into the box that I thought he would be making. Obviously, being six foot four, um, you know, I expect him to run more or less middle, and you know, try and challenge for aerial duels, this kind, like that kind of thing. But he seems to be, you know, he seems to want to run that sort of tight line, um, which is not ideal what we want. And Mohamed Salah up against Ramsdale, fantastic save there by. Uh, by headliners Ramsdale as well, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what you've got to remember. We're not using standard Ramsdale or inform Ramsdale. Uh, we are we are using we are using headliners Ramsdale. That's a really good interception by Robertson. Ball straight back to them though, which is a recurring you know theme in this game. Ramsdale again with another fantastic save. Yo, this is not a Ramsdale um, review. Maybe I should do a Ramsdale review. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, the substitutions have finally taken place 27 minutes into the game. Uh, so that was Gundogan for McTominay. It's Mares for Armstrong and Zaha for Frazier. So we should actually have a bit, bit better time getting down the wings here. Ross Stewart getting his head on the ball. That's a that, ha, ha, good header, good header. It's a shame he doesn't have power header as, um, as a trait. Unfortunately, he doesn't. But he did get ahead of his man there. Quick burst of speed there to get in front of his man which is absolutely fantastic alexander arnold's on this why i need a left footer like mares on this so we can swing this into the danger zone it's not towards the big man but it is tyron mings who gets his head on the ball and it goes wide yo it tebos well it tebos decent you know zaha Back to Gundogan, inside for a table. It does fall to Ross Stewart, who turns and gets his shot off against Neuer. And it's saved again. Big man, the big man himself, Ross Stewart. It's a shame that I couldn't get the summon kit um, for Ross Stewart, if I'm being fair, because that would have been nice for this for this review. But it's swung in again. I'm trying to aim towards Ross, towards Ross Stewart, because I kind of want him to get on the ball. Um, wait, is that a pen? Alfonso Davies giving away a pen. Handball? Handball, yeah. His arm was in a natural, unnatural position. All right, Ross Stewart, who has 76 penalties, ladies and gentlemen. So we are going to test ourselves against Manuel Neuer here. 
I mistimed it. I mistimed it. I mistimed it. I mistimed it. I'm an idiot. Otherwise, he stood still as well. I didn't need to. I didn't need to do time finishing. I really didn't need to do that. Morris. Stewart. Smart player. Zaha. Gundawan. Ross Stewart. Unlucky again. We're getting chances. Ross Stewart's getting chances. He's, he, he, I just don't think he's got the shot power to get it past the likes of keepers like Neuer. Because Neuer's like a top-end keeper, right? Whereas like... I don't know. Some of the keepers that Ross Stewart's used to playing against just aren't on just aren't a Neuer's level, let's be fucking honest. Uh, but Declan Rice uh, into Ross Stewart maybe. Turns his defender. Ross Stewart gets a shot off. Again, saved by Neuer. I think this was if I think if this was if this was any other keeper uh, apart from Manuel Neuer, I think that would have been it, you know. But that's a kerfuffle in the box. Zuma header. That's handball apparently. But whatever you do, you Mares into Ross Stewart on the left foot. He's missed it again. I know he's got three star weak foot, but <laughs> you've got to be getting that on target from that range, Ross. You've got to be getting that on target. Can we potentially get this into the box? Yes, it's up towards Ross Stewart and Neuer. It's Zuma coming in at the back post. We'll take it. We'll absolutely take it. I don't know who gets an assist there. I really don't know. I don't know what just happened there, to be to be, to be be perfectly honest with you. But uh, Ross Stewart was kind of involved. I don't know if he gets the assist. No, nah, come off Neuer. Neuer punched it backwards. Ross, uh, Kurt Zuma there getting ahead of, I think it was Alfonso Davies at the back post. But Kurt Zuma does get on the score sheet. He does uh, get us that goal to potentially win us the game. But Ross Stewart, ladies and gentlemen, has been... He's been okay. He's gotten into the right positions, more or less. Um, you know, I say that. I say that. I say that. I say that. But Ross Stewart, I was about to say Ross Stewart's getting into the right positions, but he just hasn't really been effective in front of goal. And then he goes and does that, ladies and gentlemen. Ross Stewart getting on the score sheet. Thankfully, he beats... Ah, I don't know who that was. I don't know who that centre-back was. I couldn't... I can't quite see. It's David Alaba. So he beat... He manages to turn Alaba, despite having only 65 agility. So he's, he's turning circles pretty slow. But he does manage to turn David Alaba, ladies and gentlemen, and get his shot off past Neuer for 2-0. And game over. So, ladies and gentlemen, first game, first victory. Ross Stewart on the score sheet, along with uh, Kurt Zuma. We shall quickly pop into the stats and see what Ross Stewart had to offer that game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so Ross Stewart had a shot accuracy of 70%. You can't say that because of my overlay. I just had to check there. But yeah, his shot accuracy was 70% with one goal, no assists. Zero assists, one goal, zero assists. Uh, so yeah, so shot accuracy there of 70%, pass accuracy of 78 and a dribble success rate of 100%. So every time he beat a player, which was 12, uh, that was 100%. So he played all right. You can see the heat map there on the screen as well. He, you know, he felt okay. He felt pretty responsive in terms of, you know, getting on the ball. Again, he's not the fastest and he's not the most agile. So he does take a while to get up with play. Um, but once he did, he got into the right positions and he pretty much, you know, bullied the center backs. We'll try again in the next match and see where we go from there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So moving into game number two. And I haven't done my substitutes. So it is Zaha for Fraser, McTominay, bring Ali on. Because I decided to switch it up from Gundawan. Just why not? But yeah, Mares for Stewart. Uh, Stewart Armstrong, that is. And we move from there. But Ryan Fraser is already getting down this left hand side. Oh, Ross Stewart's already there, Maji. Ross, just, just celebrate. Just celebrate, my guy. There we go. <laughs> Instead of running around in a circle. But Ross Stewart getting himself on the score sheet, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0. Stewart. Through for Zaha. Wilfred. Good fucking save, Schmeichel, to be fair. <laughs> Good bloody save. 
That is a fair, that is a very, very, very fair save. Considering 86 Zaha is absolutely incredible and I genuinely love 86 Zaha more than anything. That is Ross Stewart again. That is Ross Stewart again. This man is a beast in the air. What the hell? This man is an aerial beast. Oh my god. I, I mean, I, I love Ross Stewart in real life, to be fair. he's He's been our talisman this season. 15 goals already in League One as well. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm a Sunderland fan. I'm a very big Sunderland fan. Uh, but yeah, now we move forward. Ross Stewart getting an inform. Happy about that. And he's already got two this game. Ross Stewart coming forward. Uh, he hasn't really got support, but he finds Mares to curl it. Schmeichel's parried it again. This is a this this could be a, a singular problem. Morris gets his shot off three 0 bottom corner. Eleven minutes into the game, um, but this could be a serious problem because Schmeichel seems to be parrying his shots quite a lot, um, which is obviously dropping to the likes of Zaha. It's dropping to the likes of Mares, and Mares and Zaha linking up there. Three 0 Ross Stewart. He's found a table. Gets his shot off. Stewart on the left foot, on the weaker, on the weaker left foot as well. That was a decent shot. It was on target. Good tackle, Atibo. You know what, Atibo. This is probably the best team I've ever had on Ultimate Team, it, like over the years, like without a doubt. I mean, Ross Stewart. Ooh, went for the volley. But Atibo's been so, like Atibo solid. Like you know, that's another shot. Good save, Schmeichel. But. You know, Atibo, Atibo's solid. Like, he's he's basically a poor man's cante, if I'm being fair. I mean, we're going to swing this back in to Tyron Mings. Unlucky. Unlucky, my son. But the defense is solid. I, I think I might upgrade Robertson to uh, Winter Wildcard uh, Tierney, to be honest. I might, I, might, I might invest in that, if I'm being fair. But so far, we have a really, really... Really strong squad. I mean, Deli Ali, that was a terrible pass. I'm not going to lie. Mores over the top for Ross Stewart. Can't beat his man because he doesn't have the. He, the, the see, that's the thing. That that's the thing with um, Ross Stewart, right? He literally has 61 agility. I had to quickly check. I've got his base stats up, uh, as well as the modified stats on my left hand side. There, that's a red card. Fair enough. They're down to 10 men. Anyway, he has 61 agility, Ross Stewart, going back to what I was about to say. And the, you know, he, he struggles to beat a man because he doesn't have the agility to beat said man. Like, he takes uh, quite a while to turn on the ball. He takes quite a while to, you know, pull off a, a quick jinky shot. Um, but it's, it is what it is. That's a terrible free kick. That was... That was absolutely terrible, Talon. Mares. This is good play by the boys. Mares holds it up. Oh, I was about to say that's a pen. That's a pen. That is a big boy pen. This time, we're not going to... Like... <laughs> what? I didn't want to give that to Zaha. Can I change the kicker? No. All right. Well, it was meant to be Ross Stewart, but... Zaha, bottom corner. There we go. I'm going to give it to Ross Stewart. But Zaha does get on the score sheet. 4-0. Stewart. Oh, Ross Stewart with a step over and the shot. Ah, oh, he's just missed it. Ah, it's just gone wide. Oh, Ross Stewart, that was the hat trick, my son. That was the hat trick. Ross Stewart. Ross Stewart beats his man again. Stewart, bottom corner beats Michael. There's the hat trick, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, oh, Ross Stewart, my guy, gets his hat trick. He finally does, you know, he finally beats his man again. Well, I say finally beats his man, but he does get past uh, Davis and Sanchez again with a little, like, body faint. Gets a pass Michael for his hat trick, and it is 5-0. All right, and guys, and after game number two, Ross Stewart gets four out of our six goals. He had 11 shots. He had a shot percentage of, shot accuracy percentage of 73%. Uh, he had 11 passes and an accuracy of 91% with a dribble success rate of 80%. So, ladies and gentlemen, we shall move into game number three and the final game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, game number three and the last one for this video, at least. And we move into the, like I say, we, we just move straight into it. Ben Rama. 
Zaha into Robertson. This is a good play. I see Ross Stewart getting up with play. It's in towards a table. It doesn't really matter. We do get the goal. It wasn't Stewart that got it, but he did. Get, he was getting into the right position, which is really, really good to see. Um, again, he's been marked on his attacking positioning, um, you know, during the course of this video. And he is, like I said, he, he is getting into the right positions, which is very, very good. Good interception, Ben Rama. Stewart lays it off for Declan Rice. Declan gets his shot off. 2-0. De um, Declan Rice getting the goal, but Ross Stewart getting the assist, which is good to see. He held up the ball for a split second, but he did hold up the ball long enough for, like, to, he pulled the defender out of the way for Declan Rice to run straight through. Good to see uh, him linking up with the midfield, and there's the assist right there. Fair enough. We've actually conceded. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that absolute farce of a game is over. We won 5-1, and Ross Stewart got himself on the score sheet once with one assist. So one goal, one assist there from Stewart. 100% shot accuracy with 67% pass accuracy and 80% dribble success rate. Ladies and gentlemen, let's wrap up the video. Now, in form, Ross Stewart is... It's an all right card. It's its an all right card. It feels all right with Marksman, uh, especially on full chem and all that good stuff. He did score um, six goals there with one assist in the three games that we played. Uh, his total shot accuracy was 81% with his total pass accuracy of 78 the uh, dribble success rate was 86% and an average match rating of 8.4. So he's, you know, I would recommend if you're going to use Ross Stewart or you plan on building a Sunderland team or an EFL League One team that you run him with Marksman, but you have got to use him on full cam. Anything less than full cam and I don't think you'll get his full potential or anything like that. But... You know, if you, like I say, if you've got an AFL League One side and you've got Ross Stewart, bang him in. If you've got a Sunderland squad or, you're, or, you, or you are a massive Sunderland fan, maybe have him on the bench in your regular teams and go from there. But ladies and gentlemen, that is where I'm going to wrap up this video. So, so thank you so very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you know when I release your content or go live. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.